So let's talk about habits. We all have them. Some are positive habits that encourage us to be motivated and productive and to be the best version of ourselves. Others are not such good habits and they're the ones that can leave us feeling frustrated and annoyed with ourselves or like we're just not achieving what we want to achieve. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about five daily habits of mine that help me to feel really positive and like a good version of myself and not the one that stays up way too late binge watching Netflix. If you're new here, I'm Kate, I'm a mum of four. I have two boys and two girls aged between two and nearly 13 and I make videos on this channel all about my life as a mum, recipes, tips and just my general thoughts on parenthood. So if you would like to stick around, please hit the subscribe button, I would love to have you. I made a similar video to this, this time last year, about my favourite daily habits and it was really interesting to read your comments on that one about your habits and what you want to do more of and less of, so I'm hoping that we can do the same in the comments section of this video, so do comment below and let me know what your best habits are, things that you do every single day that you think bring out the best in you. So first up, and a habit that makes me feel way more in control of my house and my surroundings, is the pick up five method. Now I've read about this somewhere years ago and it made a lot of sense to me, but it's not something I ever really implemented. But lately I've been trying to do it and it really does make a difference. It's a small thing that has a big knock on effect. So basically what you do is every time you go into a new room or area of your house, pick up or sort out five things. Just have a quick scan around the room. If there's a cup on the side or toys on the floor, or a towel on the bed, something like that. Just take those few seconds and do five things in that room that will help to make it more organized and less cluttered. This could take no longer than 30 seconds, but don't leave that room until you have picked up or sorted out five things. It'll become a real habit and something that you do without even thinking about it. The next habit that makes a huge difference to me mentally is deciding first thing in the morning what we're gonna have for dinner. Now this sounds like a really daft one and I do meal plan so I know roughly what we might have during the week but I don't assign it to a day. So I'll write myself a list and my meal planner does list it Monday to Friday but I will chop and change depending on what I feel like. But the thing I hate and what really stresses me out is not deciding early on, getting to the end of the day when everyone's hungry and waiting for me to feed them and having no inspiration or just not sure what I fancy because I'm so hungry I've gone past caring, that kind of thing. I hate staring into a fridge and thinking, what am I gonna make for dinner? So obviously meal planning helps with that and I am trying to make sure I do that every single week and so far it's really working for me. But I also try to make my final decision on what we're having that night early enough on in the day so I can either start it nice and early so that it's ready and I don't have to worry about it or I don't have that horrible moment of what am I gonna cook for everybody tonight. Next up and following on from the pick up five method is following a cleaning routine that works for you. I made a video back a couple of months ago about a cleaning routine that I started that has made a massive difference to how I approach cleaning my home and keeping on top of the household chores. That method is the Team Tom or the Organised Mum method. I will link the video that I made and her blog below for you so you can go and check it out if you haven't heard of it. But it basically breaks your household chores down by day with a weekly focus on a particular area of your home. Now I did let it fall by the wayside over summer because it was just too much with the kids all at home and being out all day and things like that. It just got a bit on top of me, but now that they're back in school, I'm getting back into it, and I fully appreciate why I got so into it in the first place. It helps to organize my mind and my time, and it breaks it down into manageable tasks as well. So if you're not familiar with it, definitely worth checking it out. If you, like me, often feel overwhelmed with all the housework. The next habit I want to talk to you about is one that I'm trying to change up a little bit, and it's how I approach exercise. I've talked in previous videos about how I like to exercise, so mostly it's been walking with Marnie because we go out for a long walk, gets her off to sleep and I enjoy some fresh air at the same time. I recently added some running into the mix doing the Catch to 5K with my daughter Merrin and doing that with her has really changed the way I think and feel about exercise. So the motivation for me to get up and get my trainers on and get out the door for a run was no longer I need to do this for me. It was more that I wanted to encourage her to do it with me, to be fit and healthy and to make that a part of her lifestyle as well. So it kind of shifted the focus for me a little bit and it wasn't just about me getting out for a run to do it for myself, it was more about something that we did together and something that I was doing for her as well. And that has really helped to keep me motivated. And we're not that far off finishing the Couch to 5K program now. So I really hope that we keep 
doing it afterwards and get out for runs at least once or twice a week together. It's a new habit of mine that even though it's not every day, I really enjoy it and look forward to it. And the last one is rethinking the way I talk to the kids after school. So changing a habit of just saying, how was school? Or how are you? How was your day? I've changed it up a little bit and I ask them the same three questions every day. So I ask them, what was the best thing that happened today? What was the worst thing that happened today? And tell me one new thing that you've learned. And guaranteed, they've all got something to tell me to answer those three questions. Whereas before, I would say, how is school? And I just get, fine. And that was it. So this really helps to start a conversation and to jog their memory about things that they might have forgotten to tell me otherwise. And it's a little habit that's so simple to do, but I'm really enjoying our chats on the walk home from school now. They have so much more to tell me. Now I'm asking them those three questions. So those are my five positive daily habits that are really making a difference to my everyday life. I would love to hear from you. What habits do you have that really make a difference to your routine? Will you be trying any of the things that I've suggested in this video? Do let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.